be sleeping with mano. Girl sweet like a mango. Gives a taste to the tango. Strummer like a banjo. If you've just joined us, we've had a tightly contested game so far. The Yanks are trying desperately to salvage something of this opening series and not walk away empty handed. For more on that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked to a couple of these players before the game. They do not want to start the season by getting swept in front of their home fans. They are determined to get this win and create some positive momentum that they can take into their next series. We'll see shortly whether that's in the cards for them or not. All right, Heidi, thank you. Next to dig in, Luke Voigt. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0 and 1. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Ready on one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches was they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. And that one yanked just foul. Three runs, seven hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Gardner will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder Clint Frazier. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Not a spot you expect to curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Rounded down the third baseline. He's got it. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. They make it look easy, don't they? Around the horn for the double play to end the inning. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. And there's the signal now from the crew chief. As we expected, we will have a rain delay. Begins to be dicey, Matt, if you're one of these managers right now. It looks like this could be delayed somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Do you leave your pitchers in? Most of the ballparks have areas down below where guys can ride the bike or get on the treadmill. But you start getting into that 45 minute to an hour please. delay, you're starting to really flirt with danger. I'll be interested to see what the managers do with Number these two 14. pitchers. Tyler. 
Rowdy Wait. Tellez the next to bat. Past meetings against Luis Sessa. He's a 333 hitter. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And that misses two and one. I got two one to count. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Now a role this Chapman is called upon and it's not for his usual role. Just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. Count now three and two. Now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Danny Jansen comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Strike two taken a fastball that clips the inside black. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Danny Jansen goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. George Springer is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. And this is taken down around his ankles for ball three. Marcus Semyon would be next. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. And now, Marcus Semyon. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 delivery. The 2 0 is a fastball high, and it's 3 0. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Looking to keep this a one run game to pitch. Bo Bichette is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. A ball and a strike. Here's the one one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Jordan Romano takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 68. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. Now and stepping in, Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat.
first pitch on its way. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Now back. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there, but the outfielder does a really good job, D Row, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, D Row, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first and he'll try to hold back the swing but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike now the one and one pitch I mean, he's coming right after him Matty three fastballs in a row And it's fouled away. Fouled off. And a big pitch coming. Here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Another one sent foul. Sanchez, base runner at first with one out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. The now, right with two outs, 99. it becomes a lot more difficult Aaron. to manufacture that guy home. Yeah. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Mike Tuckman will come on now and He's pinch run here. For the Yankees. Number 39. Mike Tuckman. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Two out with the man at first. Last chance for the Yankees. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Well, that's a tough loss right there and what's been a tough series. 
They cannot feel good to get swept in the first set of a new campaign. Yeah, Dero, you know, getting swept is never fun. But then the opening series of a season, that's a real tough pill to swallow. You got to be resilient in this game, and they'll just have to bear down and see if they can grind out a win here and at some point get their ship out of the harbor. So the Bronx Bombers have kicked off their first road trip of the season here in this game. And for a word on that, here's our own Heidi Watney. Matt, the average MLB team will travel more than 25,000 miles in a season. That's more than the circumference of the earth. But one thing that makes all that travel easier to handle, winning. If this club can pull off a win here in this first road game of the season, they might just start a habit of traveling in style. OK, thank you, Heidi. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. His career batting line against Hill. He's 0 for 4. From the stretch. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1-1. One and one. As a look, now the pitch. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line. But that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box, Luke Voigt. Here's a curveball blocked by Zanino. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Uh, needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Void with a high fly ball out to deep left field. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. It's a two run shot to straight away left. First home run of the campaign for him. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. And that'll bring now up Labor Torres. Labor. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. 
Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Striding in is Clint Frazier. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Margo's under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's set and the pitch. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. A runner on first with two away. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1 1. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. On the ground to the left side. Adamas brings it in. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's now 2 nothing, New York. And meeting up for the Red, the designated hitter, Austin Meadow. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Austin Meadows is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1 and 0. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Guide down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So next now to the plate back. for Tampa second Bay, eight. Brandon Lau. Right and here. his guys are looking to erase wow. that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. The 1-0. A bouncer to the left side. Torres scoops it up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Here's Randy Arozarena. Now back. No left field. Randy. First delivery to him. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? G Man Choi, the next to hit. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Sure. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. And a ball, one and zero. Oh. 
Meadows at second with two down. One and one the count. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Peter Fairbanks please. has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 29, Peter Fairbanks. Ready now is Gary Sanchez. His career numbers in this matchup, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First pitch of the A.B. now. Nope. Now the 1-0. Oh. strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count now the 2 1 pitch and this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. A lot of indecision there on that the check back. swing. And that's the something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference right. between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. DJ LeMayhew stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. Behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Count remains at 0 and 2. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. 1 and 2 to DJ LeMayhew. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. Game. That's back to back right K's field. and he's making Aaron. it look pretty easy. This right. has the makings of a good outing so far. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Hey, this guy has come in and just done his job. Period. The end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Here comes the 1 2. Down the third baseline. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Jack Britton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton.
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Now the 1 0. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. Now that. Up next baseman. for the Rays, Joey Wendell is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the pitch. One out, nobody on. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And another foul ball. Another try at two two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's no check no swing. Ball. It's not a great That's angle, tough. and everything happens really? so quickly, That's so they bad. really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Kevin Kiermeyer would be next. Looked to be a sinker there, up in the zone a bit, but called the strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch home. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Now that is the center fielder. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer in previous meetings with Britain over the years. He's just one for six. First offering on its way. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. One and oh. Uh, needs to get that sinker down. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Adamas is off of first with two away. Line drive base hit to right. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Here now is Mike Zanino. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And he fouls this one off. Here's the one and two. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Rays strand a pair. They're down two to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Kiermeyer. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Giancarlo Stanton now. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. First delivery to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out.
A ball and a strike. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Luke Voigt waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. Luke Voigt will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. Runner at first here, one man out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone yeah, down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking Four. batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Glaber Torres is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way and stay back on that heater, or they are not going to recognize that pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. This is line to left. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Left field. Dan, right here you see a situation where the no doubles defense came, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, were you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D.R.O. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. 1 and 1 the count to Clint Frazier. Lifetime versus this arm. Small sample a perfect 1 for 1. 1 and 2. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Yanks strand a pair. But they're on top two to nothing. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Austin Meadows. And Dan, what's gone and wrong go. for this lineup the today? They're only three the outs away hitter. from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a Meadows. lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Aroldis Chapman comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 
from the stretch. Popped him up. Urshela is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the ninth. Stepping in okay, once again is Brandon Lau. The second baseman. Wheels right and deals. Here's the first pitch. The 1-0 home is offered at but missed. One out, nobody on. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys now in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have right backed here. up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Randy Rosarena stands in as he looks at ball one here. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. The count now at two and one. Pitch on the way. Drilled right back up the middle. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back. The first baseman. So now it'll be the four hole Choi. hitter. G Man Choi flew out last time up. First pitch on its way. High in the air into shallow left center. Here comes a left fielder. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. So Dero travel in style they will at least until tomorrow their first road game of the season this is a statement win. Yeah Heidi said it earlier when you head out on the road you want to win early to set the tone for the trip. They've gotten off on the right foot so far and we'll see if they play with some extra confidence going forward.